here at the Mac Thermoforming Machine in the 218-216 Plastics Lab. I'm going to show you guys how to use this today. We're going to start over here on the left side of the machine. Here on the left side you got your main power switch. Um, you're going to find these on a lot of the other machines in the class, but on this machine in particular it's going to be here on the left side. I'm going to switch that over to the, to the top and turn the machine on. After that, before you mess with any of the settings or anything else, you're going to want to make sure that your mold securely placed on the surface. Usually it doesn't, it doesn't uh, move, it's always sitting there, so you won't have to do much with that. Um, next, you're going to want to just make sure that all the lines and hoses are the way that they're meant to be. Uh, we got some lines and uh, pressure hoses up here, as well as underneath the mold surface, uh, which can be located here, so just make sure that those are connected and that, you know, there's no, like, ties or knots in them or anything. Usually they stay placed the way they are. Um, obviously, make sure that the machine is turned on. You can have the power button right there. Once you've got that, you're going to start messing with the settings, making sure that everything's right. Um, so you're going to have your main menu here. You're going to go to the setup page, and you're going to have the uh, oven on, the T-eject on, as well as the D-vac. Also on this page is where you're going to adjust your timers for the forming operation as well as your temperatures for the styrene sheet in the oven. Uh, for timers, the main components you're going to focus on here is heating and forming. We found that for this styrene sheet to produce the best results, uh, we had a heating uh, time of about seven and a half seconds and then a forming uh, and release time uh, total of about 20 seconds. So we're going to want to return to this uh, main page. Uh, once you have all these set and all those settings are on, you're going to want to exit. Next on the main menu, you're going to want to click this yellow auto button here. Um, here it's going to have all your settings that you set up displayed on there. And the main things that you're going to want to check here are make sure that your oven is on and your platen is on as well. Once you have this and you're ready, you can come over and cut your styrene sheet because it needs to be uh, you know, adjusted to fit under the clamps and on the on the aluminum surfaces. So once you've got your styrene sheet cut to shape so that it fits in the mold properly, and all your settings here uh, are set, temperatures and timers, you're going to want to set your styrene sheet into the mold uh, and evenly distribute it. Generally the best thing you're going to want is so that it just fits perfectly um, and you don't really have to like make it fit so that it falls through. Um, so once that's set, uh, and all your stuff is set up on the machine, all you got to do is uh, you're going to first press both start uh, buttons simultaneously to clamp it down. You're going to see all of those clamped down, uh, make sure that's secure in there. And then after that you're going to hold the start button simultaneously one more time for uh, three seconds to send it into the oven. And then you're pretty much good to go, it's going to sit in there the time that you set for it to uh, sit in the oven and heat up, and then it's going to come out on its own here. So bring the mold surface up and pressure it uh, to shape your part. Here in particular we have an uh, ice cube tray which is common to be made in the 216 lab for this procedure. And uh, it will release from the mold after a set time. We have is approximately 20 seconds. Those clamps will open up. Take your styrene sheet out. And there we got a beautifully pressed ice cube tray. You'll then go back out with your pliers and cut that out and you've got your finished part. Run that as many times as you need. Finally, once all of your parts have been made to your desired amount, and uh, you don't need to make any more. You're basically gonna go back to the main menu here on the main screen, and then you're gonna come over to the left side of the machine, and just like you started to power on the machine, you're gonna wanna just push it in a little bit and turn it to the left. That'll turn all the settings of the machine off. The display will be off, and the oven will slowly cool down, and uh, you'll be good to go.